Here at the Niagara Falls Curling Club, the annual Sweep for Kids bond spiel is in full swing with 22 teams throwing rocks on behalf of the Boys and Girls Club of Niagara. It's fun. We are trying to plan fun. Novice, novice curlers out there, there's some people who curled before, people who haven't curled before. It's just to get out and have some fun. Get, some, get something to do on a Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, and have some fun and enjoy each other's company. What does the rest of the day look like? So basically we're going to have two draw. Uh, there's four draws of curling. Uh, first draw, second draw, we do some lunch. Uh, there's going to be a third draw and a fourth draw. And then we're going to have uh, some silent auction prizes. We do a pie raffle auction, which is really fun. Um, and basically we support the, the sponsors. Uh, we try to have fun, just making a fun day. That's all we're trying to do is make it a very fun day for everybody. Down on the ice today, there was a wide selection of curlers in the mix, including club staff, league players, and board members. I just want to continue to see us be able to get people out to have a good time. I think if we wanted to get the word out, it's, you know, you, you don't need to be a great player to come out, but it's for a terrific cause, right? So just come out, have some fun. It's great family. I'm with my family today. Great family sport. David, uh, could you tell us a little bit about today's events? Uh, you know what, we've got I think like 24 teams out here. Um, there's, you know, we've got some uh, community members, some staff members. Uh, I know behind the scenes there's been a lot of uh, the BGC staff that's um, uh, re really put in the hours to make this happen, uh, as well as the members of the curling club here, and it's just, uh, it's been fantastic. It's, it's a lot of fun thus far. To hear David describe it, it's a return to some normalcy as restrictions lift and the kids and staff of the Boys and Girls Club get back to the events and activities that they know and love. There are still people who are very cautious, which is great. That's their choice, what they would like to do. Uh, but a lot of people, I think, are waiting for this. They've been looking for something to do, looking to get out, looking to remove the masks and have some fun and, and be in socialized with people. People have been cooped up for so long that I think people need this. They need to get out and expand and have some fun. Could you tell us a little bit about how events like this help the Boys and Girls Club in Niagara? Events like this help the Boys and Girls Club by telling people what we do. And also, uh, yes, we are a nonprofit organization and we do take donations, but this is what gets people out. It, it expands their, their vision about what the Boys and Girls Club's all about and how we help the community. Our biggest thing uh, in April is to get our kids back to our kids zones, our aquatics, our sports camps, and things like that. We really want to push the kids to get back. And I think in April, uh, mid-April, that's what we're going to reopen and we're really going to concentrate on getting the kids back to, our, you know, to doing their social activities and their little uh, getting together and having fun with their friends. From Niagara Falls, reporting for The Source, I'm Mitchell Glass.